46, 46, 43, and I'm having my legs straight to the back. Whoa. What is up? My name is Marta. Welcome to the vlog. Welcome to Volos. This is Ilona just waking up because she was chilling on the couch because I have been editing. Uh, this morning I've been going outside. I've been creating this silent vlog that you probably might have watched. I so far after the edit and of the previews that I've seen like it a lot. Ilona also likes it a lot but right now is the big moment where I'm going to hit create because now it's going to calculate how long it actually needs before it's done. See a regular vlog takes about, I don't know, two, three hours to like edit, about half an hour maybe to render, not even like 10 to 20 minutes sometimes. This one is 10 minutes and it's going to need almost 40 minutes to render. It, it's a big one, it's a good quality, it's, I love it. Anyway, I, I wanted to do this one time and also because it was your grandma that said like, I do not understand anything, can you not, not one time do something without talking? Yeah. But you also like the vlog that was uh, the, the one before the it. Q &A, the Q&A, yeah. yeah. I know. And not just Ilona's grandma, also my grandma. She does not watch the vlogs at all. Ilona's grandma watches every day. She doesn't miss yeah. a vlog. She always nice. always leaves comments. If you also like it, don't forget to hit thumbs up button already. I usually don't say it at the beginning, but just do it. Don't forget it. Thank you. <laughs> I'm wearing black as you can see and uh, that's not smartest if you are having like a hot day outside it is really really sunny like the sun is shining it is 30 degrees outside I think actually over 30 degrees as well but the thing is that I only have black shoes that are like looking huge I do not and these are hot these are like super synthetic they these are hot to wear underneath gray shorts like these but I want black shoes underneath so what are we gonna do we need to do two things one of those things is oh we're over bright give me one second one of those things is uh, to go shopping because we need to get some groceries but let's not do that immediately we, we already ate and i'm always amazed how somehow me and as well as ilona but we can always make something about of, of the last stuff that we have left over yesterday for example we ate boiled potatoes and uh, today i made a couple croquettes <laughs> The croquettes are just some, uh, it's mashed potatoes and you just make nice like croquettes out of it. Croquettes? How do you call croquettes in English? Or are they croquettes? I don't know, in Greek it's croquettes. Croquettes, exactly. And uh, croquettes. you just like roll them a little bit in flour, roll them a little bit in the egg, fry them on all the side and they're super tasty. And then you made some red beets with garlic sauce, anything, and, uh, and we had cheese. It was good food. But first, we gotta do the second thing. We got a little tip of uh, Tina's uh, boyfriend. Tina's a colleague of Ilona. Where did you go? <laughs> and um, he got shoes for 15 euros, she said. Yeah, but they the heavy. Maybe he got them on discount. Yeah, he got them in discount and he's got, he got black shoes. Shoes that I also want. But I think we parked a little bit too far away. We have to go to Intersport, we'll see. Just my luck, I, they have the shoes, but my size is like all the way on the bottom. Like, my shoes are all the way on the bottom here, 46, 45. So, Sarah, the pet, Sarah, the eggs. Careful. Yeah, it's a Let's start with a 45 first because I don't have that fat feet. And they're great. Why, uh, why is 45, 46 always on the bottom? Because nobody has that huge Because nobody's Dutch? No. These look nice. This is both. <laughs> Feels so completely different. They're okay, I mean they're nice, they fit nice. But they're so low. This is so low, so much lower than what I'm used to. But look, these are high, high tops. This is like lower. And it's big actually for a 45. Yeah, they're, they're not very small. Look. Yeah, they're big. Whoa! I still have space in the back. Not that they're a size smaller, they fit a lot better, but sure yet. Yeah, maybe I should even go one size even smaller. But I think we're gonna we're we're gonna get them. Yeah, we are. But maybe one size smaller, we should try it on. And they're only 15 euros, so we can who can complain, right? Shoes from Daria, shoes from Borders. 46, 46, 43, and I'm having my legs straight to the back. Whoa. 
43. How is that possible? 43, yeah, 46. Maybe 44? No, it's 43. Maybe you need 44? No, 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 it's actually, it, this one is comfortable. So that's one success for me. I got my shoes. Ilona was looking for some uh, bikinis and everything, but no success. Sadly enough, they don't fit that well. Sadly enough. So now we're gonna check out the China store and then we're gonna go to, to some groceries, right? Yeah. Look at these flowers, by the way. Holy sh They're all fake though. Yeah. You wouldn't say. <laughs> that's very pink. It's very loose. Like the one I wear. But it's way looser. The one I wear is looser. No, what you just got. This is the black that I have. Let me know guys and girls by the way as well, what you think of these super, super loose trousers. It, I think it suits to some women, but I don't think it suits Ilona that much. It's, that's my opinion. Ilona's bored. See, if I see something, I just try it on. And if it looks good, I buy it. If it doesn't, I don't. But it's man logic probably. Hello? Yes. Do you know how five years old react when they buy something new? They want to put it on immediately? Yes. Well, I am a five year old. Yeah, I still love it. I have new shoes, I put them on. You happy? Yeah, if you go to the supermarket, you need to look a little bit like good, you know? You need to like okay. like you're going to walk a fashion show. Okay, next time you're gonna, you're gonna draw it in a tie and everything. And, and draw a door in a tie? Next time you'll wear a black tie. What you don't understand? Next time? Yeah. There is no next time. You never go to the supermarket again. We'll let the butler do it. Oh, okay, okay. No, let's buy an Android. Yeah, well, lately we have been watching uh, Detroit Become Human, and it's a very nice video game, actually. I want let me get stuff. Let me get the keys. Which Android stuff? And those robots, I want one. Yeah, can you tell them what Dr Detroit Become Human is and oh. why we watch it? Oh, they, it's a story, it's a game uh, with a storyline that uh, human... Uh, I was talking. And it's a storyline where androids become human or they think at least that they become human and because of racism and all that kind of stuff It's a game it, with choices But the game is only on PS4 so sadly enough we cannot play it because I don't have a PS4 Let's buy a PS4 to play it, I want it very much, I like it very much And it's a game with choices so you make your own storyline Okay The only thing I know right now is that we are going to this supermarket again even though we don't like it that we have to put our camera away all the time but at this one they don't let me film they know me by Bye, now humans. so uh, we'll see you in a second before you know it we're done we're done we're done we're done we're dead tired we're dead tired yeah, yeah. and we have a fly uh, yeah. let it out let it out there is a fly open your door back home and I wonder from all these groceries you you guys know what this is you guys know what uh, this is maybe it's chewing gum uh, some uh, lemon uh, some uh, sugar uh, some bananas some stuff to clean but do you guys what this know what this is I think some of your Greeks actually might know when I saw this the first time I had no idea what this is Ilona wants to think and the last one that they had left at the supermarket was pink. Do you know what this is? If you know, I'm gonna count down to five and within five seconds, you have to comment down below in the comments what this is. Like, yeah. wait, I'll unpack it, I'll unpack it. I'll give you some more time. See, it is a pipe like this. Ah, uh, what is this? If you guessed that it is a pump to pump up your olive oil, then you're correct. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, by the way. I forgot to count, but that's okay. Yeah, like they cannot skip forward a couple of minutes. Oh, it does not fit. Ilona got too much cheese. No, I was just asking. Oh, they got too thick slices. I told you she cut very thick slices. Feet. Ilona orders 20 slices of cheese. Yeah, and then they make like way. very fat ones. But hey, yeah, you ordered 20. She gave you 20. She did exactly what you wanted but I asked for normal size. Are you grumpy about it because you have more cheese than usual? No. No, exactly, so. This pump olive oil. Because last time that grandpa dude that always comes by in Ilona's store gave us a full, like how much liter is this? 15 kilos or something of olive oil? How much is it? 17, I think, I don't remember. 17 or 18, right? Yeah. So we unscrew the top and then you could like pour everything into a bottle but it would be a big mess. 
Instead, we put this thing on top of it. We push it in slowly because if you push it in too fast, it might all pump out. Then we screw this lid back on here. Straight, straight. It's gonna stay on there because we leave it like this usually. Cleaning up olive oil is a mess, so we put something underneath. And now we've got a glass bottle instead of a plastic bottle because first of all, plastic bottles uh, have plastics inside that can get into your water or your oil. And uh, glass bottles and do not. Here. And this is also more hygienic. We boiled this bottle entirely, so this is way, way cleaner. Now we take off the capaki and we start boom, boom, make shit. Oh yes, look at that. I'm playing with faith here. He's gonna screw it up. I just screwed because, it up. Because. But anyway, it's filling up with oil. It's a very nice bright oil, by the way. It's But it is olive oil. Mm -hmm. From this year, huh? From this year, yeah. And then we twist this little thing up again. We'll put the kapaki on top. And then next time when we have uh, waste our one liter of uh, olive oil on popcorn and other food and salads, <laughs> we'll fill it up again. It's written on the bottle, life, just add water, but I, I prefer like olive oil. <laughs> it's a very nice color. Did you know though that Spain is the biggest exporter of olive oil? Not even Greece. Greece is not like, is way more down on the, on the ranking list. Like the biggest exporter, especially to the Netherlands, is Spain. Spanish and even Italian olive oil. While, anyway. Greeks consume it themselves. Exactly, and that's what I wanted to say. Spanish and Italians, they know that they sell their stuff because the Greeks know that if you have good stuff, you don't give it away, you use it yourself. That's, yeah. <laughs> Greeks just, they love using it themselves all the time. Anyway, time to chill. The chilling was a little bit too much chilling because I fell asleep on the couch and oh no, took a shower. We uh, watched the end of uh, Detroit Become Human, what we told about in the afternoon. This is a video game, people. Look how good it looks. It's amazing. He's an android. But anyway, uh, we're going to shut down the PC. I'm really tired. It's been a, a long, long day. I'm glad a lot of you guys actually, I just read the comments, I'm glad if you, that you guys actually liked the video that I did with the silent vlog. I think I'm going to do another one, but then we're going to do it somewhere maybe a little bit further away from Vorlos or in another part of Vorlos that I don't come so, so often. So it's also a little bit of discovery for me, you know? <sighs> Look at this cat. Are you chilling, dude? Your pillow's outside, so you're just still in your own house. He destroyed this entire house. It is unbelievable. Anyway, long story short. If you like this vlog, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Leave a comment down below because we love to read them and we always reply. We thank you for watching and we hope to see you next time.